the bison, each one bigger and more deadly than a bear. This is a little too close for comfort. I've come to a Californian ranch with Kinsawa Sensei, who claims he can put any animal into a trance. I've called in farmer Frank Donato and veterinarian Dr. Lynn McEwen to put him to the test. Frank has a herd of the largest land mammals in the Western Hemisphere, the bison. So Frank, how strong are these animals? Uh, these animals are some of the most powerful animals in the world. Uh, the males weigh up to 2,500 pounds, you know, which is over a, a ton. Do they normally lay down? Sitting down? No, that's not a typical behavior of a bison. Would you be impressed if he could shake his hand and, <laughs> and they lay down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's possible? For I'm a... skeptical, but let's see. Are you going to have to use a different technique to put the bison to sleep compared to the alpacas? Uh, I always use the same technique, whatever animal I'm putting in a trance. Standing six feet tall, bison can reach 37 miles an hour. They're incredibly territorial, so just being in the field with them is a huge risk. Neither Frank or the doctor have ever seen bison sit down if there's a human in their pen. But Sensei claims he's about to use just mind power to put them all to sleep. Yeah, one going down. That's someone, I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely relaxed, very relaxed. There goes one. What's interesting about this is that with all these people here right now, the camera, he's out there flinging his hands around like that. You'd think the animals would be a little etchy and uh, there we go. I think, yeah, yeah there she yeah. goes. One left. Wow. It'll be interesting what he can do with that big bull right there. I went and see the bull. If he drops the bull, then we'll know. This one's going down too, I feel it. Oh wait, there he goes. There she, there it goes. Yeah, dang, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, have you ever seen them do this before? No, and what's really interesting about this is that you might see this from time to time, but why at this particular moment would the animals all be laying down at one time while he's out there? I mean, he had such an outlandish claim that he could wave his hand and make all the animals lay down and he's done it twice perfectly right in front of me they're laying down on command it's just exactly. too odd i just really can't grasp what's, yeah. what's going on in yellowstone national park bison have killed or injured four times as many people as bears so the experts are worried about kinzawa's approach the animals look at they're not even afraid they're not even timid of any kind um uh, do you know what he's trying to do I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm a little, I'm getting a little leery here that uh, he's getting, I mean, look at this. I've owned these animals for 15 years, but I've never been this close as he's been. This is completely unusual behavior. Yeah, for these absolutely, there's no question. And they can smell him. They, they look very calm and relaxed right now, but if they got up, uh, he'd never make it over the fence in time. Now the one's getting up. This is a little too close for comfort. Doctor, is there any way to explain this in the realm of science? Not, not in the medicine I know. Mm -mm. I just, I, yeah, I don't. It's, it's interesting. It's amazing. I mean, there's no trick he could be doing. <laughs> no. It's a guy. Sigoy, I can't believe that you made all of them lay down yet again. <laughs> Thank you very much. It doesn't seem scientifically possible. Sometimes 
There is no logical explanation for these superhuman feats. Now, I'm going to leave it to you to decide if he's superhuman 